After a compelling opener, we move on to Game 2 of the Western Conference Finals here on EA Sports. We are at Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Tonight, it's the L.A. Lakers playing host to the L.A. Clippers. Along with Jay Williams, I'm Ed Cohen. Jay, you look at the Lakers coming in. They were winners in Game 1. That's critical to get that first one in a five-game series. And the important thing to remember here is that this is not a seven-game series. We're only going five. So you've got to bring it each and every night and play like your season depends on it. Count the basket inside. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. To Paul George. To Leonard. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. Some players are just built to absorb the contact. He pretty much dusted that defender off like that was a bug at the park. Nothing going here on that drive. And the Lakers clear. Clippers have it. Kawhi Leonard, two for two. That's what you want. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Cruises inside for two. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable, and almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time. Nice pass to set things up. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Bradley. And the finish, slam dunk. Jay, this is getting scary fast. If you're the defense, you have to deny him the ball. Maybe throw a box in one. Maybe throw a zone. Maybe even throw the kitchen sink because he's putting on a show in the first quarter. To Leonard from long range. Can't connect. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Now the Clippers call a timeout as they'll talk things over in what's now a four-point game. Gilchis Alexander to Leonard. Let's it fly from long range. Rebound pulled in by... Lakers at the controls right now. Rises for the slam. Mm-hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Knock loose. Lakers have it. Is Smith. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. Learn from that. You got to be a step ahead of the offensive player. Know that fake is coming again later. Williams across the timeline. Margins eight. Here comes the screen. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer. And that's going to get out of bounds. Off a of Laker. Twenty footer at the buzzer. We've reached the end of the first quarter here in game number two. Jay and I are back after this. It's Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we. George to Williams. Three, three, three. To George. Hands off, get the board. 
Paul George. He's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Now ready for a couple of free throws. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots each and every one of them. Can't connect on the first free throw. Second one's good. Splits the pair. We reached halftime here in game two. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports halftime report. Jalen. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. The second half is about to get started. Clippers have the basketball. Leonard to Hollis Jefferson. Harold can't connect. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Kawhi Leonard, he's three of five, 60% shooting from the field. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul. But take it when you can get it. Clippers have got it. To Leonard. Slam dunk. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going. And that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Layup goes down. Well done. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. L.A. Clippers with the basketball. Anthony Davis able to recover with the block. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Paul George snatching it out of the air. Stuffs it down with authority. He climbed the ladder on that one. Well, the question is, how big is the ladder? He's still climbing. Leonard. To Paul George. And he's fouled. Earns a trip to the foul line, Jay. The game is too tight for you to be taking risks like that. You want to avoid foul trouble at all costs. Paul George at the line for two shots. A career 84% free throw shooter. First one goes down. Good free throw shooting. And that'll get out of bounds. Last touch by the Clippers. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. Cousins. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. three-point play and with that they go up by three 
Yotis Alexander. To Reddick. For three. He engulfed him that time. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. It's L.A. Clippers ball. Gilchrist Alexander. Fires the three. That one off the mark. It's no good. Cook to bring it into the front court. Up five. Now ready to shoot at the line. Yes, I love this move. Send him to the line. Chances are probably good he doesn't make both. And you also stop the clock while getting another possession. on the first free throw. Can't connect on the second, and he splits the pair. LeBron James rejects it! This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Stuffs it down with authority. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. Terrific. Throws it down. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. To James. Ah, the monster stuff. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Terrific. Winding down. Reddick. Defenders could lose sleep with this guy. J.J. Reddick, well defended, still knocks it down. Well, easy difference there. In the first half, the offense allowed the defense to settle into their half-court sets defensively. And that's why the shots were all contested. But now, since they picked up the pace of the game, they're getting a lot more action out of transition threes. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. Timeout called here by the Clippers, but this game's in the balance, and time is of the essence. Gilchrist Alexander, Terretic, 4-3, not getting the bounce. To James. Easy pass to the rim. 
Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epic gimmick of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Reddick buries it on the catch and shoot. It's easy to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch, but great awareness by the shooter to get those toes right behind the three-point line. Deep two there, won't go. Out of bounds to call. Last touch by Quinn Cook. It's the Clippers with the possession now. Here comes the screen. Driving right to the basket. Plenty of contact. The shot no good. And an intentional foul here in the closing moments. But it shouldn't make too much of a difference in what is now a two-score game. Okay, now look over to the sideline and see what the staff is trying to draw up on the next play. That's good clock management thus far. Two for two at the line. Late heave to beat the buzzer. The Lakers get the victory. They'll take a commanding two games to none lead into game three of this five-game series. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been the NBA Playoffs on EA Sports. Find out more at easports.com. Until next time, good night. The Lakers added a win. Player of the game. When you see these highlights, it's easy to see how this guy earned the award. His impact on the game wasn't lost on anyone.